Karen Jekley Live. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and after a long break, we are starting our video tutorials again. So today we are going to discuss concurrent and parallel processing. We will discuss what is concurrent processing, what is parallel processing and how they are different from each other. So guys, all of you for the full lecture, all of you stay tuned. Now coming to the point, now what is concurrent processing? So guys, in concurrent processing, when, when multiple processes or threads they run at almost same time then we call that type of processing as concurrent processing okay for example we have a program a and we have program b or we have a process a or process b okay so now all of you know guys like uh, what happens like we as a user we write a program the operating system okay it divides the program into processes okay that is transparent to us and each process can be divided further into very small lightweight process we call it as thread we call it as thread suppose we have two processes a and b so those processes can be divided into small small lightweight processes we call them as threads or i can call it as thread a and i can call it as thread b now guys in concurrent processing both of these threads they can run almost at the same time okay they both can be executed at the same time okay this type of processing is called as concurrent processing and in concurrent processing boys uh, and in concurrent processing guys i have this habit of saying boys and girls in concurrent processing so the main thing is these threads they can run almost at the same time but they run on a single essentially processor they run on a single processor so in concurrent processing okay when we talk about concurrent processing the processor is single the processor is single and on this single processor multiple threads can execute at almost same time now guys why i say almost same time because they do not execute exactly at the same time okay but there is a context switching between these first processor processes this then this the gap the time gap between switching from here to here is so small that to user it appears they wrote both are running at the same time so this is concurrent processing okay then comes a parallel processing now guys, in parallel processing also, we have the same thing. We have thread A, we have thread B, okay? So they both are executed at the same time. So the difference between concurrent and parallel processing is, here we have two processors. We can have more than one processors and these threads, they can run on separate processors they can run on separate processors okay so this thing is called as parallel processing parallel processing can be concurrent okay when we have more than one processors which can execute the threads okay at the same time we call it as parallel processing but we have single processor when we run multiple threads on the single processor at almost same time we call it as concurrent processing so what is the main difference what is the similarity the similarity is there they almost run at the same time here they can run at the same time here the processor is one and here the processor is more than one so this is the difference between concurrent and the parallel processing okay and with guys when we have this concurrent processing with concurrent processing the main advantage of it is we have high performance system okay when multiple threads can execute at same time okay automatically the system throughput and the system performance it goes up but also it leads to another problems which we are going to discuss in the next lecture so guys all of you if you like our lectures please subscribe to my channel and all of you thanks for watching